Today, we use the hookah system to find gold in deeper areas. And it's safe to say, we got lucky. Ooh, that actually looks really, really nice. God. Welcome back to another episode of Planet Putty. I'm currently driving the turbo diesel Hilux, right hand drive on the wrong side of the road. I actually really like these vehicles. I really want to import one of these into Canada. We're on our way to the Special River to look for gold nuggets underwater, but I actually shipped the hookah system from Canada, so now we'll be able to go in deeper crevices underwater and hopefully find bigger nuggets. I'm still learning how to drive here. Oopsies. <laughs> I only tried this in the pool. I've actually haven't tried this in the river yet. So I'm very excited, but also nervous because I almost killed myself a couple years ago diving. Well, tell me about it. This is the Blue Nemo. The Dive Blue Nemo Diving Blue System. It will find you gold. You excited? Oh, I'll get there in a minute. So you basically just inflate this tube, connect the battery, and clip everything in place. You're also supposed to have a harness connected to you, but because of trauma, I don't do it. Relax. <laughs> For my first hookah dive, I gotta say I loved it. Super easy to set up, and the fact that nobody has looked down here before has me excited. I poked around a bit getting used to the system and moved rocks before locating a spot that was holding the good sign of ironstone. Which eventually led to this spot which was holding our first nugget of the day. And because I didn't have quite enough weight to stay down completely, I had Kyle stand on my back, which was kind of funny. One of those moments where you ask yourself, how did I end up doing this for a living? But it seemed to work, so Kyle continued surfing while I continued working. I continued to find little pieces scattered everywhere. My goal, like always, is to locate the bigger stuff, but as gold is so heavy, any size adds up quickly. So I was just standing the gravel, camera was off, and I flicked a little, a little nugget out of the gravel onto the sand, so. This hookah system is awesome. You're able to go really deep and you're able to get those crevices nobody else can reach. It's pretty shallow where we are right now, but still, this is great. Once I got tired of moving the overburden, I drafted Reese to help me move stuff. Now I have Reese down there clearing overburden for me because I just had a cold and I have no energy. Teamwork makes the dream work, baby. Here's Kyle acting as camera B. <laughs> now it's my turn to serve somebody, but I'm having trouble staying on. Fuck. Reese is breathing a little fast. You can tell because how fast the boat is working. Slower is better, but he is exerting more energy than I am, so. I thought I'd let him know my concerns by whispering in his ear. <laughs> Obviously, that didn't work. So here's Reese uncovering two nuggets the moment I left him alone. Found a nugget? <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's have a look. <laughs> That's a nice nugget. But us, there's another one down there too, hey? <laughs> Whoa. 
While Reese was having fun doing his thing, I wandered off slightly and actually found a decent gold nugget. I literally just laid down and started fanning and I found another nugget. And I'm not even on the hookah system. <laughs> Oh yeah! Sweet! Don't miss! Bloop. And because we found gold, it's a good sign that there could be gold around, so it would be wise to have a look to investigate. So I just saw a little piece of gold, and I didn't know how I was going to get it. So I reached into my bag and I pulled out a revolutionary piece of equipment known as tweezers and I pulled it out and it was bigger than I thought. All right, I'm just having a wee break right now. Drinking water, eating some food. I'm doing really good right now. I got a little bit of small stuff and two nuggets. I don't know what they're gonna weigh because everything looks bigger underwater, but we'll find out later. Since I just got out of a five day break because I had a cold, I really shouldn't be doing this because it's not good for your equilibrium or your ears. And that's another reason why I'm having a break is because I'm having some ear pain. So I'm not gonna do any more hookah diving for the next hour or so just to see how I feel. Right now, Reese's Pieces is in there. Again, and he found four nice nuggets where he's working, so he wants to finish that spot off. Anyways, I'm gonna finish eating my food, then I'm gonna do some shallow sniping until my ear, mm -hmm. feels, ear feels better. I found myself a nice little eddy behind this bedrock obstruction here that had some nice looking hard pack. Even better, gold! But when I found my second piece of gold, my snuffer bottle was nowhere to be seen. Darkness, dramatic sounds, now, it would be an understatement if I said I looked around for it because I looked everywhere. I walked a couple kilometers downstream, back up, and even built a dam near the bottom of Darren's claim in the event it was floating and traveled that far. We also hired a Wicca to join the hunt, but it just took our snacks, so we had to let him go. <laughs> it wasn't until later the next day when Reese found it about 10 feet from where I lost it under a rapid. All right, we are back at camp here and I have the gold underneath the snuffer on a knee pad. And that's because I don't know where the, the gold pan went. But before I show you the gold, I just want to say that I lost this snuffer bottle and it took us an entire day to hunt it down. I actually built a dam further downstream to try to stop it. But luckily Reese, two minutes after jumping in, he saved the day and we were able to recover the gold I'm about to show you. So this is the gold that we found, well, I guess two days ago now on our first day of using the hookah. That is awesome. So obviously when you're using a hookah system, you're able to go a little bit deeper and you know, you can access better spots for bigger pieces of candy. When I found this guy, I thought for sure it was gonna be three grams, but that just shows you what refraction does to your eyes. It makes it seem way bigger than it actually is. And of course we have a few other pieces. Now the black bits that you see in there, I believe are iron. A lot of the gold in here has iron on it. Another reason why it's so heavy. All in all, a successful first day sniping with the hookah. So I'm gonna suck up this gold using our backup safety snuffer. We're gonna go to bed, then wake up, head back out for day two using the hookah. Are you gonna find gold today? I'm gonna find lots of gold. Are you gonna find gold today? Absolutely, that's why I'm here. <laughs> we made our way to the middle of Darren's claim where he hasn't really explored yet. Our goal, like every day, is to maximize the potential to find good gold. Excuse my hairy chest and face. Today is the last day that Kyle is here. So Reese is gonna go help him find a little bit of gold while I use one battery of the hookah. And then when I'm done with that battery, we have an extra battery that Reese will use for his pleasure. The goal for Reese and Kyle today is to find as much gold as possible. Whatever gold that Reese finds today, he's actually gonna give to Kyle. That's nice of him. And my goal today, of course, Jeez. <laughs> You actually scared the shit out of me. <laughs> and my goal today is to obviously find as much gold as I can to take home and play with my feet. You're gonna help Kyle find some gold today too? Yeah, I'll find Kyle some gold. All right. Now, I don't wanna lose my snuffer bottle, so this is what I, <laughs> this is what I did. There is no way. Before I jumped on the Nemo, I quickly went back to the spot where I had lost my snuffer to finish off. I 
I was feeling a bit of pressure to hurry up and get back to the hookah system, but also pressure to not leave as I'm still finding gold here, even if it is small. Holy cow. I just had the shit scared out of me. I was pulling a rock out of this hole and a big eel came right at me. I forgot this river has eels in it. That thing was actually huge. So now that I'm feeling pressure from Mr. Eel and Nemo, I sucked up 12 more pieces of gold before jumping back on the horse. Nem Nemo, the system, you, you know what I mean. I could do this all day. That's why I am. All right, I am back on the air and ready to find some bigger stuff. I just took the hookah system off for a little bit while I look for a deeper spot to work. I want to save as much air as possible. And I just found a little piece of gold. I like these pieces where you can only see the side of it until you move it and realize it's a wee bigger than you thought. Oh, I catch my breath. I was able to suck it up eventually. Yeah, I just started working this deeper area. Found the biggest nugget of the day. Oh, oh. <laughs> they always look bigger underwater, but that's still nice. It's actually quite peaceful just to dive down without any air and become numero uno with nature. It allows you to move rocks without any bubbles, which doesn't really do anything, but just imagine. Reese and I tried another spot, which ended up being the best spot so far. So we found this really hard to reach spot down here. I don't think I could film it with you, but uh, we'll see. So this spot, like I was saying, was very difficult to work. I could barely stay in one position, let alone try to keep a camera still. There was heaps of ironstone too, which is a great sign, but even better sign would be gold, which I almost found right away. Holly's working on his synchronized swimming technique. Wonderful form. Just outstanding. So if you don't already know, anytime you're in a spot that has lots of heavy rocks like ironstone in a known gold area, you have a good chance of finding heavy rocks. Reese and I spent a good two hours in the spot just navigating through the strong current and getting as much candy out as we could. Oh. All right, I'm just about done. I'm gonna look for another few minutes and then I'm getting out of here. Kyle and Reese already left. I managed to get myself into a real deep point that had almost no visibility. And I looked anyway because gold often lights up like a beacon in dark places. <laughs> I wasn't able to clean out that deeper point, which is forever gonna bother me, but I did manage to suck up random pieces of gold that I saw laying around. And once I realized I was just making smoke and not finding anything anymore, I was done. Oh, all right, we're back at camp and I am exhausted, but for good cause, I was holding my breath a lot and using the hookah system a lot and moving lots of boulders and I am exhausted. Now I'm gonna dump out the snuffer bottle and hopefully the gold is as big as it looked 
when it was underwater. You excited? Very. Very. First thing we've got to do is pour kiwi water in the pan. It makes it look bigger. Mate, I didn't lose my snuffer. <laughs> uh -oh. Oh. Look at all those rocks. Did I get some nuggets? <laughs> Candy. Candy! Damn. And there we have it. Nice pile of nuggets. I don't know if this is gonna be our best day in New Zealand so far this year, but we'll put it on the scale and see if it beats 18.18 .18 grams, which I don't think it will, but nonetheless, I think that's at least half a gram. So that's what we found today. This is what we got yesterday. So let's add it all in. And there we have it. <laughs> that actually looks really, really nice. Gosh. Successful day on the hookah, wouldn't you say? Was. 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 Now I'm gonna wait until this gold dries before I weigh it. So in the meantime, we're gonna go see what Kyle found for today. Or the two days or just today? Just today. Just today. Just today. Woohoo! Yeah, that's not bad. I like not that nugget. Bad. Dang, this looks like gold. <laughs> Very nice, Mike. All right, do we get to eat for the next year? Look at all that stuff go down that crevice onto the thingy. How much did we get in two days on the Huga system? 11.68 grams, almost 500 ounces. Not bad at all. Now Kyle's weighing his gold. 2.76 grams. 7.7. Nope, 7.6. 7, 7.8. Seven, 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 ah! That's confused. Yeah. That's a decent day sniping on my clean back in Canada. So not bad. Well, today's Kyle's last day. You sad yeah. to go home? I actually am sad to go home. It's been two weeks though. Uh, I am tired. I definitely need a break. I've been at it 11 days straight. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's time to uh, it's time to head home and see the family. Once he's gone, we're gonna find the big nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you to the good spot. That is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, chances are you're going to enjoy what I've previously posted and what's coming in the future. I'm still gonna be in New Zealand for a while, so I have a lot more. Eh. I really shouldn't be doing this. ear pain. So I'll have a lot more gold prospecting videos for you ahead. So like always, buy Pioneer Poly merchandise will make you really cool and look really cool. I'll see you on the next one. Yeah.